Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly tarot reading. My name is Brandon Tobias, and it's an honor to have you here. Welcome to the channel, Science of the Soul and Stars. If you're new here, we do daily and weekly horoscope updates for your love and your life. So if you want those continued updates and to be part of the Soul family, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you as part of the family. Um, if you do find this video impactful as well, do me a favor, hit that like button, helps this channel and this video grow so we can guide more people. Now Sagittarius, let's go ahead and get right into your reading. Today we're going to be doing a channeled tarot reading for your love life, but also as a general reading. So one thing to note is if you're not you know, looking for love or in a relationship, this could also be a general reading and apply to different areas of your life, okay, or different parts of your life, all right? This is a general reading for sun, moon, Venus, or rising sign in Sagittarius, okay? So last thing I'll say, Sagittarius, is um, before we open the ceremony, call in our guides, my guides, your guides from the collective, and get some channeled messages for you. Um, we There will be an extended reading in the description box below. So if you resonate with this reading and you want to go deeper and find out how your person feels about you, what they're thinking about you, and what the universe has to say, there will be an extended reading. You can check that out in the description box below. Without further ado, let's go ahead and open the ceremony and get some channeled messages coming through. Officially opening the ceremony now for the collective sign Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising for December 13th through the 20th, 2020. Calling my spirit guides, loved ones, masters, wise ones, and angels and archangels, as well as those from the collective sign of Sagittarius to help guide this session and give me whatever helpful insight Sagittarius needs to know for their highest good. Thank you so much, spirit. The ceremony is now open. I hope I said the same dates. I don't know if I said the same dates, but I'll have to go out and check. So anyways, 13th through the 20th are the dates we're doing. All right, 13th to the 20th. Right, let me see first if there's any, uh, before I even get into the reading, let me see if there's any messages that want to come through that I can channel uh, for you guys today. Good fortune is here for you. You just have to reach out and grab it. It's waiting for you. And it's set to appear right around the corner very soon, but you have to reach out and grab it. You'll know what it is we speak of if you have your eyes and your heart open. You'll know what it is uh, we speak of be sure to reach out and grab it at this time. It is the time you've been waiting for, for action and to admit and speak your truth. Okay, that was the message. All right, so I kept seeing like, uh, it was almost like an ace of pentacles. So this could be financially too, um, for you guys, but it also could be generally, right? But there's, it was almost like something was behind a wall. I saw a vision of a wall, and then like this big pentacle looking coin thing right behind that wall. And um, it was like there was, it's like you were almost waiting, you were like poised for it, you know, and, but it wasn't quite time yet. And then you'll know, it's like you'll know something will switch and then you'll know it's time to go out and grab it, whatever it is. So very interesting start to the reading. I figured instead of the channeled oracle, we just do channeled messages because uh, I do have clear audience uh, abilities. So I can hear messages from the guides and just channel it directly. So we're trying it out. But Spirit, we're doing a sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, Guidance here in Love and in Life for the 13th through the 20th, please. Got a little text there. All right, let me show you the cards and we'll go from there. So the first card up is the Hierophant. All right. I feel like uh, I feel like this is talking about you, Sagittarius. I feel like you're stepping into a place of uh, leadership. It could be spiritual leadership, spiritual guidance, or just helping others find their way. Maybe giving advice to others, practically or otherwise, or in the spiritual realm. But people seem to be coming to you for guidance, um, and potentially even giving you money or opportunities here. This could be what I'm feeling. Uh, very grounded stone here, by the way. So it could be grounding here necessary, but. 
I feel money. I, I really do. I remember I saw that pentacle in terms of the opportunity to go out and to grab. And then we have the six of pentacles here underneath the deck. So uh, I feel like something's going to appear and then it's just time for you to move forward and be like, I'm claiming that. That's mine. And it has to do with your work. It has to do with your ability to help and guide people and uh, to uh, make an impact in that way. Okay. So very interesting start here. The eight of cups. Very interesting. So... Um, walking away from an emotional situation here or turning your back to something or someone here, um, interestingly, or this could have been in the recent past, the truth, the Ace of Swords and the truth. Okay, so maybe there's a, a truth that's been shown or shared or will be shown or shared or hasn't been yet, and that's why you haven't, uh, you walked away. So you could have walked away from a situation in the recent past here um, because you knew that there was a deeper truth that wasn't being shared with you. And this could have been around a divine connection with the sun card appearing right here in the middle of your spread underneath the hierophant. Okay, this could also potentially represent marriage. All right, so um, yeah, the hierophant with the sun card in this way, this, this could this really is a serious union um, that could be formulating here. But you did have to walk away from someone or something. Apologies, let me turn my phone off. Uh, in order to get to this place, all right? So I feel like you've been navigating your way through love, trying to find your truth, trying to speak your truth, admit your truth, or just receive the truth from some some situation or some person. And because of that work, because of that discipline, you've been able to, I mean, you're rewarded here with the potential for an amazing partnership that's solid and uh, founded in a very um, solid foundation, okay? Queen of Wands. Okay, so this is your energy, actually. This is Sagittarius, okay, energy. And so, um, interestingly, we have the Hierophant and the Queen of Wands. So this could be you. This also could be your person um, really ready and stepping up into this union. I mean, this could be you saying or really ready to maybe speak your truth about a certain situation or to a certain person or to step up and to engage in a divine union. I'm actually feeling that. I'm feeling like you're stepping up, ready to engage in a divine union at this time, and you could potentially just want to go all the way. You're just like, I'm going all in. Like, I'm, I'm done, you know, I'm done walking away from love. I'm going to share and be in my truth no matter what, and I'm going to engage in this divine union. I'm, I'm, yeah, look at this, Ten of Pentacles. I do feel that you are ready. I do feel you are ready. If not now, then very soon. And you had to... I mean, it's interesting, the Eight of Cups here, you had to walk away from something, okay? You had to say no to something or someone else or something, or this could be you walking away in the past around something, but either way, you doing that helped you to step into your real truth so you can engage in a real partnership here because this is right in the center of your read, so it's clearly a very important part. Yeah, you pulled away. You pulled away, okay? You gained some space. You gained some perspective. You spent time with Source, you saw things from a new light by walking away, by separating here in the past or in the recent past. And I think you realized your truth was with this person. This could be an Aries in your life, all right? Or a divine masculine here, okay? This also could be your person uh, now that I think about it. So this could be you, I feel, stepping up and then this is your person and this is your person. So someone who could be an Aries, but an, um, someone who's stepping up and guiding the world and you're like, that's my person, you know, claiming, claiming him, okay, or claiming that energy. Justice, so the scales have been balanced, okay. So, you know, could be vice versa, but I feel you may have stepped up to the plate here and claimed your person. I don't know why, that's just what I'm feeling. You've stepped up to the plate, you've claimed your person, you've spoken your truth, maybe to this person, this Aries, this divine masculine, or this person, you know, spoke up to you. This could be also reversed. So this person could have stepped up and spoken their truth, okay, or got to the root of their truth and spoken it to you, and now is engaging with you in this divine partnership. Let's find out some more clarity here. But here's the strength card. So that's why I feel it's you, because I feel you're, you've progressed, stepped up, evolved, and, and progressed into, um, you, you've gained the inner strength and clarity and initiative to make this happen when you have known in your heart of souls and heart of hearts for a while that this is something that you wanted. And yeah, look at this beautiful new vision, a new life of abundance, clarity, and uh, and wealth. 
Okay, so I've real I think you've realized what you want in life, really, and you want it all, and you want it all with this person, and you know you and this person are capable of creating it all together. Look at this. You spent some time with Source, you walked away from love, sweat some separation, and then now here you are rushing in, okay? Also, again, could be vice versa, but the just still is to still do feel it's you. All right, rushing in here to make some action towards your Aries here, or your divine masculine. All right, your Aries here, your divine masculine could have been taking some time away. All right, could have been taking a little break, turning their energy inwards for love, from love, uh, or generally. Okay, um, nine of swords here. Okay, so uh, you know there could have been some. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's still a little bit of worry or concern that things aren't even yet, or you're, it's not able to be even, or it's not able to progress, or things haven't balanced out completely yet, or just worried about what's going to happen when you do step up into this union, you know, or present yourself kind of deal. You know, it's like, yes, you're stepping up, you're claiming it, but yet there's still that concern of like, well, is this person going to take me back or take me in? Again, take it as it resonates, but... There's some fear here a little bit sleepless nights or this all could have happened because of not being able to sleep here you know and being worried and concerned and just not being able to be rested because you know that your person's out there and you know that you want to claim uh, him or her the star card here so um, this has been a faded a very much a faded evolution for you I mean look at you queen of wands strength card and the star card now you are working with the universe, working with the stars, calling upon fate, calling upon the divine, gathering your inner strength and claiming what you want. And what you want here, Sagittarius, look at the Queen of Wands staring at the sun like this is what she wants. And this is a divine union. And it's only that union. It's the only thing. Like there's nothing else that she is wanting at this time other than that. And it's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. Okay. So um, fantastic energy here. Very strong. And look at this, three of wands. What a, what, a, what a reading. Holy cow. Three of wands with the two of wands with the ten of pentacles. This is wanting it all and willing to go all in. All in, Sagittarius, for what you want and who you want. Okay? I mean, it's absolutely... Oh, my gosh. This is absolutely... I, you know, you saw me shuffle. This is crazy. The queen of pentacles. This is, this is having taken care of yourself, done your healing stepping up evolving into your divine feminine and not taking anything less than the absolute best of what you want for who you are and claiming your person here so i i feel like there's a person here could, again could be an aries could be a fire sign but you're like that's what i want i want this union i want it all i want to build a life with you i want to go all in i want to commit to you and it's absolutely stunning Okay, so congratulations on that. Let's get a couple more clarity cards. Ace of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Okay, so I, I feel like maybe the thing, the Seven of Swords is showing up here, Ace of Wands. I mean, maybe the thing that you haven't shared with this person is how wildly passionate you are for them or how wildly in love, right? And how much you they light your engine up, okay? Um, and, and that's something that you want to share. Uh, light your engine up. That's, a, that's an interesting one, Brandon. Um, okay, but... Yeah, I mean, you, you know, this is also my, it doesn't have to mean you haven't, you've kept something from them. It just means like you've uh, secretly maybe been terribly upset that your, your, your counterpart, all right, your moon or your sun, okay, right? Because the, the beloved relationship is often divine partnership is sun and moon together. And this is separated sun and moon. You've been torn apart by the separation, but you've also gained your passion back. All right. So the separation also is telling me it's necessary. It was necessary for you to regain your passion, your spark, your drive, and your ability to uh, step up, commit, and claim someone. Okay, in a very strong way. And that was what was necessary. Six of Pentacles is equal give and take, and generating abundance in a situation with a person. It's absolutely fantastic reading. Okay, good, 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 good. Great energy, Sagittarius. Let's get three final outcome cards. Spirit, any final outcome um, cards that Sagittarius needs to know. I also want to draw some clarity on this Nine of Swords, okay? I want to find out what you're a little bit worried about. Um, so three final outcome cards on this spread. Three of Swords, okay? Six of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. So your heartbreak here, 
uh, I feel drove you forward to want to give and commit to this person. All right, so it was the hurt and the heartbreak and the worry and anxiety I feel and the walking away from love, either them or you, that drove you to really step up and claim this situation, okay? That's what Spirit wants me to tell you, at least. All right, Nine of Swords, and I think you know that, right? So in the end, it was a good thing. Nine of Swords, can we get some clarity on the Nine of Swords here? I'm just curious why this is here. It's the only card that kind of... Death, okay, there you go, transfer. So there you go, it led towards transformation, five of cups and the king of pentacles. Look at this. So it's almost exactly what we were thinking, but nine of swords led to transformation here. Okay, so it drove you into transformation. Um, also five of cups, right? So the sadness, the burden, the heaviness, the loss, the sense of loss from the separation, the situation led you to want to really step up uh, or and, and or you realized who and what this person was, okay, and and what you needed to become, or step up into in order to be with them, okay. So again, all for growth, and clarity and progress and movement, which is amazing, okay. So to, let's take it back to the channel messages in the beginning. Uh, I feel like this could either be job or it could be this relationship because. They, they could be either or depending on your situation, but for a lot of you, it's going to be this relationship. It's time to actually step up and claim it. Okay. All right. So that's what I got for you today, Sagittarius. If you want to go further, there will be an extended reading in the description box below. Feel free to go ahead and click that. We'll be um, checking out where your person's at, how they feel about you and what they're thinking about you right now. And maybe how they'll receive this offer and what the universe thinks of this divine union. Okay. So if you want to check that out, check out that description. Last thing I'll say again, uh, well, three last things, kind of. If you haven't subscribed already, you want those updates, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you. And be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. It helps this channel video grow so we can guide more people. And if you want to, last thing I'll say, uh, join as an official channel member of the Science of the Soul and Stars. Uh, we here are passionate about empowering light workers to learn skills like astrology, tarot, and how to monetize a spiritual-based business in order to empower millions of people around the world and to make an amazing living by doing it. So if you want to have weekly content exclusive to channel members on those subjects, be sure to check out that join button next to the subscribe button and uh, you can check out the tiers and what you'll be getting on that video. Okay, thanks so much Sagittarius for watching. I uh, love you guys and uh, I'll see you next week or in the extended. Bye for now.